this is gonna be the talk of 24. No way. I'm like, you think so? He's like, Shannon. He, and he's looking at me just like I'm looking at you, Cam. He's like, Shannon, this is, this is gonna be viral for the whole year. I came in this business saying I was gonna expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side, period. Period, all of these uh, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TGJ, any of them, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. Okay, you guys, so it looks like Shannon Sharp podcast club Shay Shay has been blowing up ever since Cat Williams' interview, but he has had many explosive interviews this year already. And let's just say a lot of people in the industry are not liking this at all. This is because the interviews have exposed many secrets about some of the industry's most famous and powerful people. That's including Diddy, Oprah, and Tyler Perry. It looks like Shannon Sharp is now dragging them through filth, exposing them for not only trying to cancel his show, but also trying to ruin his life, for not taking down interviews after they asked him to. It looks like Shannon is now claiming that he also has more dirt on these people and he's going to leak it if they don't back down. And you guys better get ready because Chow, Shannon Sharp is not here to play. He has had the world in a chokehold ever since he dropped his interview with Cat Williams at the start of the year. It was pure absolutely chaos and that mess has remained ever since that interview dropped. And we have seen the dark side of the industry that we rarely get to see. With all the crazy secrets that Cat Williams spilled on Club Shay Shay, it's no surprise that some Powerful people want the podcast to shut down permanently before he even spills more tea. Shannon Sharp recently sat down for an interview and dished out all the gossip about the celebrities trying to shut down his show and sabotage him. They're even sending him threats. Those stars who were eager to be on the show, they disappeared into thin air. Now, everybody knows that the industry is chaotic, but these people are going to extremes with Shannon. Life could be in danger because these haters are in full swing. I didn't know it was gonna, I didn't know it was gonna cause this kind of ripple. Um, I didn't think it was going to move me in the direction. I'm glad it did. Um, I understand what comes along with that. Life. But if you if you remember. Now, in the same interview, Shannon talks about all the crazy stuff he's been dealing with since that Cat Williams blow up interview that went super viral. He had a conversation with Cam Newton and shared why celebrities are comfortable enough to spill all their tea and secret information about the industry on his podcast. And Shannon Sharp explained that before every interview, he makes it very clear that they don't have to talk about certain topics if they don't want to, which also makes them extremely comfortable enough to tell their own story. I ask, I said, is there anything that you don't want to talk about? I always ask the guests that. Sometimes they say, well, uh, I would appreciate if we not talk about this. Right. Cool, no problem. Because I believe you can tell your story without saying something Bash. negative. But yes, I believe. I believe a person that's been in a business, that's been doing something 10, 15, 20, 30 years, are more than one salacious story. Right. That's what I believe. So if they say they want to stay away from it, but if they want to tell something, who am I to say, no, nah, I don't do, you can't tell that. Right. People are, uh, Cam. Now, one major thing that the haters have been using against Shannon is how he's not a real journalist. In his recent interview, Shannon made it very clear that he is not a journalist and never claimed to be one. Now, for those of you who might not know, Shannon is a highly successful retired NFL player who was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2011. He went on to work as a sports commentator for several years after starting his Club Shay Shay podcast in 2020. During the pandemic, the podcast was pulling decent numbers, but things went entirely crazy with Cat Williams' interview, which currently has more than 70 million views already in his most viewed interview on Club Shay Shay. But the crazy thing about this is that the interview almost never even happened. Shannon Sharp did reveal that he had been trying to get Cat Williams on the podcast for about a year before the episode was finally built. One day he got very lucky and ran into Cat Williams' new manager who connected him with Cat Williams. Just a week later, Cat was on the Club Shay Shay podcast spilling all the crazy tea about the industry. Now, chow, Cat Williams knew that he was about to set the industry on fire because he made it more than clear. They all coming. No, they ain't. Are you kidding? Nah. Hey, I promise you. I done got all the I, rest of them. I done got, I done got the ones. Every, I promise you everybody trying to double back. You're going to be <laughs> having to beat them off with a stick. <laughs> you, you won't let him. They're coming. Much as... 
<laughs> and boy was Cat Williams right about that because while Shannon Sharp was enjoying Club Shay Shay, he noticed that some folks in the industry weren't too thrilled and were attempting to sabotage his podcast and that's not the whole story. Some A-class celebrities are upset by Shannon's achievements, started labelling him and Club Shay Shay as troublemakers, accusing him of serving up drama in Hollywood because of the Cat Williams interview. But it doesn't stop there. According to these insiders, these celebrities allegedly including Oprah and Diddy were allegedly making moves to discourage other celebrities from appearing on Club Shay Shay. Oprah's conflict with Shannon began when he invited Monique to Club Shay Shay. Monique openly criticised Oprah, calling her a narcissistic manipulator. Monique accused both Oprah and Tyler Perry of cheating her and blackmailing her career from the industry, simply because she refused to do something outside her contract. For context, Monique and Oprah have been at odds for years during their collaboration on the movie Precious. Monique chose absolutely not to participate in an unpaid, unscheduled press tour. This decision reportedly angered Oprah so much that she started spreading rumours about Monique being difficult to work with in Hollywood. Child, this whole situation is just a mess, but I do believe Monique's story, I am leaning towards more her more. And tell me down below you guys' thoughts about this video. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!